A staffer to former Energy Minister Chris Harcher has blown the whistle on illegal Liberal Party donations. Ray Carter has told the ICAC the slush fund 8x5 channelled money from prohibited donors. And he said everybody knew about another slush fund, the Free Enterprise Foundation. State political reporter Bridget Glanville. In the lead-up to the last state election, Ray Carter was a popular man. He was collecting money for the Liberal Party through the alleged front company 8x5. I was on a roll. People were virtually throwing money at me. He told the ICAC he knew money was coming from prohibited donors and so did his boss Chris Harcher. But he added the donations didn't require Mr Harcher's sanction. I had been with him for 40 years. I had my own free run. The alleged slush fund, 8x5, issued invoices like this one to a developer, supposedly for work done. But Ray Carter said in fact he would make it clear to 8x5 that the money had nothing to do with work. I would have told him it was a donation. The ICAC alleges the method spelt out by Mr Carter was used to mask $400,000 in illegal donations. Ray Carter also said former Liberal fundraiser Paul Nicolau New band donations were also made to another entity, Free Enterprise Foundation. Everybody knew about it. It's been a long day for him uh, and he's telling the truth. He'll be back tomorrow to continue. The inquiry has claimed another scalp. Newcastle Liberal MP Tim Owen announced today that he won't recontest the 2015 state election in light of previous allegations raised at the ICAC that coal miner Nathan Tinkler bankrolled his campaign. I had no knowledge whatsoever of any funding irregularities in my campaign. However, it appears highly likely that prohibited donors did contribute in some way to my election campaign. I'm extremely angry. He's the sixth scalp since the inquiry started just two weeks ago. Bridget Glanville, ABC News.